technology crazy here and today I'm going to be bringing you the second lesson of PHP and we're going to be focusing on variables. Now a variable is a value that you would assign at the very beginning of your code in PHP and you can bring up that variable and put it in text or in many places throughout your code. Uh, so we're just going to be working with a very simple solid variable and well I call it a solid variable because it won't change. Um, but You'll see as we get in more complicated what I mean. Um, so let's just start off here. So let me just. So what I wanted to say is print high, but I want to complicate things. I, I don't want to just do this. I want to have it uh, variable assigned to high, and then I'm going to pull a variable in so it prints high. So let's uh, make a variable. You have to have the money sign first, and then you can type in whatever you want. Except you cannot start with a number. Uh, you can start with any letter or it can do an underscore and then you can start with the number. Just make sure you never start with a number just plain by itself. So let's just start it as text. Oops. Equals and then we're gonna have it in brackets high. And don't forget this little thing here because there is more than one line of code. Uh, so now we're just gonna pull up the print. So we print and we can pull up the text. So let's have text in here. And if we load this on my server, it should say hi. Just like that. Now, let's just make two. So let's say, make it say, hi, Justin. So if we do name equals Justin, just like that, we can actually just add in here, Justin. Oops, sorry about that. Did it again. Just like that. And let's load it. it should say, hi, Justin. And it didn't. Wait, why didn't it? Technical difficulties. Oh wait, sorry. Oh, I feel dumb. I meant to say name. <laughs> okay, so in this time it should say hi Justin. See, hi Justin right there. Uh, okay, so now this is when you're in uh, in like quotation marks here, or when you're working with text, you can have uh, variables right beside each other. But let's say you just don't have the quotation marks. You can uh, still pull up text and stuff like look if I did this should say hi now but if I want to say two of them in the, like in the same line so if I want to have print text and print name but I don't want to do print again and do name so if I do like for example if I do name right here it's it's not gonna work it's gonna give me some problem that something's happening so to like stop from making another line because if I did print on the next line name just a complete waste all you have to do is put a dot in between. It separates the two variables, and you can see there's no errors, and it should actually work now. Sorry about that. Okay, let's load it up. And there you see, two variables oh, happening again. Okay, two variables right beside each other, and everything's working perfectly. So you can, of course, add a third variable, and so on and so on. Uh, so that's going to conclude our tutorial, tutorial number two about variables next um, tutorial we're going to be working with forms plus variables so be like a double whammy so be prepared practice around with this and then we'll go on a little bit more complicated get you a little bit more confused